Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this fire spell. You are going to need two textures for this. The first one is circle texture and the second one is player. The circle texture is a public domain texture I got from Pixabay and I made the flare texture myself. You can find the links to these two textures in the description below as always. I will be providing you all the textures you need. So first let's create our circle material. So for that right click on this circle and create material then open it up. I will change the blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit. Then I will press and hold M and click toys so we get this to multiply. Then connect this to MEC color and connect this to multiply and connect this I mean connect this to A and connect this to opacity. Then we will right click and type in particle color so we get this particle color node basically a particle color node allows you to pass color from the particle system to our material so connect this to a i mean connect this to b and connect the alpha to b here then click apply and save then we will create our particle system so for that right click then particle system i will name this fire open it up and go to required so go to our content browser and click on this circle material then go to our particle system then click this arrow so we get our material here we will change the emitter loop to one so it will loop one time so after every loop you can see this completed message we don't need the initial velocity and we will change the spawn to zero and add a burst list and give it a count of one then we will change the lifetime to prevent this blinking so change this to a constant and zero so it will so it won't die then we will change the initial size to 450 so we will change this to constant and change this to 450 450 and 450 so we give this big circle now we will add a rotation so for that right click and rotation rate initial rotation rate and I will change this value to 0.1 first we will change this to a constant and give it a value of 0.1 or 2 I'm going to give it a value of 0.2 and save then we are going to lock this to the C axis so for that right click orientation lock axis then select the C axis so this lock to the C axis so basically it will be placed on the ground now we need to create our flames so for that go back into our oh before that we have to change the color overlay we will change this to a vector constant and we will change this to a vector constant and give it a value of 1 and for the color we will give it a value of um, 60 for the red 45 for the green maybe 60 for the green or 22 for the green okay we will give 60 for red and 22 for green and click okay so now we will create our frame so for that go back into your content browser then right click 
create material I will name this dot and open it up we are going to change this to a translucent unlit material then right click and type in diamond so we get this diamond gradient we will present for the M and click toy so we get this to multiply connect this to a and connect this to MC color connect this to A and connect this to opacity then right click and type in particle color and connect this to B and connect this to B click apply and save and if we have this uh, particle if we have this uh, material selected in the content browser and we go back to our particle system and right click and add new particle sprite emitter we will have our material automatically selected so I am going to change this to a GPU particle so we can spawn many of them and I will change the screen element to velocity so we can non uniformly scale them so we can basically stretch it and I will right click and type data new GPU sprites so I have basically converted it into a GPU sprite now so because it because this is a GPU sprite we need to set the bounds then I will increase the spawn to 2000 and for the initial velocity I will give a maximum value of 200 for X and also for Y and for C also then I will give it a value of negative 200 for X negative 200 for Y and for C I will get a value of 100 so we get this nice spreading now I will change the minimum lifetime to 0.5 the maximum we will leave at 1 now we will add another array element for our color overlay so click add and for 1 the in value should be 0.5 and for 2 the in value should be 1 and we will give it a very bright color so 90 for the R and 75 for green and this should be 0 then we will give a big darker color for 1 so we will give it a color of 32 12 and 0 then for 2 we will leave it at black so now we will give it a constant acceleration upwards so right click and acceleration constant acceleration will get a constant acceleration of 500 so upwards it will go like this maybe we don't need this many particles so I will change this to 1000 maybe 5000 6000 okay that's fine now I will change the size over speed so right click size size by speed and give it a value of 1 in the y and 1 in the x 
I will change the y value of maximum scale to 5 so we get this flame like look then we will change the alpha over life in the color over life module so it will just fade a bit more maybe I will add a new array element and change this to 0.5 change this to 1 and give it a value of 0.8 here now we will add our sparkles that jumps out like this this one so for that right click on the player and create material and open it up then change this to a translucent unlit material we will drag from here and type in power we are going to make it a little smaller like this then press and hold M and multiply and connect this to A and connect this to MC color connect this to A and connect this to opacity then we will right click and type in particle color and connect this to B and connect this to the alpha to B and apply and save so we get our player now we will keep this selected and go back to our particle system and add new particle sprite so our material will be automatically selected I am going to delete this color overlay and alt drag this so we get a copy of that here and I will change the initial size to 45 45 45 45 and 45 45 or you can just change this to a constant and change this then I will change the initial velocity to 200 for x max 200 for y max and 200 for c max and minus 200 for x min minus 200 for y min and we will give it a value of 150 for the c min now we will change the number of particles so for that we will change the constant to 500 so we get that sparkly effect so now we can add a constant acceleration so right click acceleration we are going to add an acceleration not a constant acceleration so then click on the acceleration and I will give it a value of 300 for x minus 300 for the x min and for the y min we will get a value of minus 300 and 300 for y max and for z we will give it a value of 200 and 200 so that's it we will um, set bounds again for our GPU particles then save now we will drag and drop our particle in so there you go 
So if you need to make your particles look like this, you need to add a post processing volume and add blue, add blue and lens flare. So you will get a look like this. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.